Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Today I've had a lot of questions recently about the fire stick antennas, so I thought I'd come down to a quiet, empty-ish car park and uh, play around with them a bit. So I uh, found some surprising stuff. Check this out. So the Yesu FT891, and it's in SWR mode. So a few times I've checked the SWR readings on the radio compared to an SWR meter. No difference really, no marked difference. It's pretty accurate, the 891, as you would expect for a box that costs quite a bit of money. And uh, I've tried with and without um, the switches, either putting antennas directly into the radio or through one switch or through both. No difference really, none at all. As regards the antennas themselves for the back section, what I do is I've got the serial on the main mag mount, it stays there permanently and I have a DV27 butterfly so when I go to the garage I can knock it down or if I'm testing antennas I can knock it forward as well. Pretty easy to do, it came with just a bolt thing, the, S the DV27 butterfly is infinitely better and it's made the connection when it's vertical. So behind that I have the other mag mount with the bayonet mail fitting. Now I've tried SWR readings with the antennas, with the bayonets and without the bayonets, no difference. Uh, just maybe a wee bit longer on the antenna front, in other words, a little bit lower in frequency for the tuning. Same goes for the springs on the fire sticks on the left. The springs didn't really make any difference, just kind of made the antennas a little bit longer, as you would predict. Now, that's basically it. I've tried that. I've tried with the serial down, with the serial up. I even took off the, the car's radio aerial to see if there's any difference. Not really any difference with that, but that made a huge difference. It has to be forward uh, to, to avoid problems with that, especially with the two Springer antennas, or the Springer and the Stinger, because they're base loaded. That's a base loaded antenna as well. Now, one big difference was when I had the boot up, it caused me nightmares trying to tune them in. So the boot has to be down, obviously causing a, a reflection problem there. So what did I find out? One surprise, big big surprise. The red caps on top of the uh, on the top of the fire sticks made a difference whether they were on or whether they were off. Harkening back to the old days when a fire stick back in the 80s and early 90s, fire stick was the powerful antenna to have, but they were a monster to tune because basically the wire finished at the top and they came a bit too long, you had to snip it, you snip it, and obviously as I've just found out, various different factors like the plastic cap, the springs, the bayonets, whether it's on a mag mount or a direct fix all sorts of differences. So many people cut way too much off the, off the fire sticks and uh, oh no, they have to solder a bit on and tape it, all that stuff. These fire sticks actually come with an adjustable screw on the top. I'll quickly show you that. The two foot fire stick. And on top of it, the first surprise I got was when I pulled the four foot one out and it must have caught and pulled the plastic off. And then I thought, wow, look at that you can actually adjust it. Now that's about halfway and that's tuned in perfectly for 26.3. I, I don't understand that. Uh, <laughs> but that's the way it is. The two foot fire stick tuned in better for the longer wavelengths and the three foot was kind of in the middle and the four foot was the shorter wavelengths. I don't know why but that's the way it turned out. So I've already shown you the, the ease of getting the stereo into the garage <laughs> and all of these five antennas 
they just go on somehow. Yeah, the bayonet fixing like that, and of course the springs take the shock out of any movement. Should I want to move around in the car with it on the two foot, it just works great there. <laughs> So, taken off, dead easy. And we'll put it back down. Now, the, the all three of these have that adjuster in them. Now, when you've got it adjusted up, there's not much of this plastic covering the metal, so that's why I've put some black tape on them, just to keep them in place. And they're tuned up spot on for what I want to use them for. Now, the Stinger and the Springer, different thing entirely. The Springer, with the P, <laughs> the newer type, didn't have such a bandwidth, but the Stinger, wow, it, it, it tuned to a, a, a huge bandwidth. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put up now the actual bandwidth of where I managed to tune these antennas. I'll start off with the Stinger, which is on, no, the Springer, which is on the right. The Stinger on the left there, and then the four foot, the three foot, and the two foot. And just to a matter of interest, I'll put in the same for the cereal. So having consulted my notes, and I've got a mountain of info, but it's no point in showing you that, or going over it, or doing uh, live tests on camera, it would take forever. What I have found out is on the right there, the Springer, with the P, it tunes in, when I say tunes in, in these next uh, few minutes, it'll mean below 1.7 SWR. Now the Springer is about 28 dead down to about 26.8. The Stinger on the left of the two of them is about uh, 28 dead but it goes down to about 26 dead. It's a lot wider bandwidth. A very similar antenna but a bit different. The fire stick on the right, the four foot fire stick, I managed to get tuned to about 27.9 and the bottom end was about 27 dead. The middle one I got from about 27.5 down to about 26.7 and the little one, I don't know why it's happening this way around, it should be the other way around, but the little one, the two foot fire stick, I managed to get tuned from about 27.5 down to 25.2. Unbelievable. And just as a matter of interest, the serial here, it's tuned 28 dead down to about 26.5 or so. It's not too bad. It's, it's slightly better than the fire sticks, apart from the two foot, but not quite as good as the, the Stinger. Round about on a par with the Springer. Hopefully you've followed all that. So there we have it, a bit of an analysis of all these antennas. One thing I will say is that I have actually DX'd on all six of these antennas, so they do work. It's just fine-tuning them to exactly where I want them, and it turns out the best way for me to have this is, is the stinger, is the, uh, the serial on the car with the two foot behind it and if I have the serial just canted forward it doesn't seem to have too much interaction with the other antenna both ways. On a mobile driving about listening, potentially having a quick contact on the way home from somewhere or whatever, that's the best way that I can set it up. The other antenna is just a matter of interest. The reason why I bought three fire sticks was they're not expensive and really to <laughs> to just play around with antennas a matter of interest. Anyway, just before I finish up here, I'll just say on the rollout, I'll just focus on what happened on the road here just now. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. That's the fire sticks uh, information. If you have any uh, questions on it or what I found out and whatever, please make comments below. So anyway, thanks very much for subscribing. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next video, ciao. Just heard these guys arriving. Couple of
Porsches let loose for a Friday night. And they're away up to Lizor 1800. Way up to the dust zone, they're going to regret that one. See if they're kicking up any dust themselves. Road is very, very, very dirty.